Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday on this lovely July 13th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good to see you, Gene, Neil. Good to see you, Donna, Jeff, Michael, Judy, Phil, all those great names. Good to see everyone, everybody. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. What is today? It is Friday. So what do we know about Friday? Friday is always is going to be pretty much a slow morning. Always get a good little action going into the afternoon, but it's summertime. You know, everyone's away. Beautiful. I mean, summer, I'm telling you, you hear me say this every day, but summer is here. It is absolutely gorgeous here in New York. So um, hopefully it's nice in your neck of the woods. Hopefully we just make our money early this morning and take the rest of the day off. That's what it's all about, you know, being a part-time trader. But um, if you have nothing to do, you know, we're here all day. But let's go over a couple of things that we did trade yesterday. Had a couple of really nice little movers. IQ also, once again, killed it on that stock. Beautiful move. A lot of people made money on that. Let me just fix that time frame. Had IQ go from 32 to 35. And then Hoya, again, H-U-Y-A. I mean, that thing was just an animal. Um, let me just fix the time slot on that one because it really took off the day before. I went from 31 to almost 39. The only bad thing about trading Hoya and IQ, which I told you guys, I was a big fan of that. Not only was I a fan of those stocks, I was waiting for them to back off. They went up way too fast. I told you about the IPO. We made a lot of money on it. On it, you know, I, I jumped back in on the swing trade on them, but as a day trade, you know, I was waiting for the I was waiting for the bottom out after this whole thing that's going on with the China, the tariff wars and stuff like that. But um, but as a day trader, you gotta be almost in the four category. You know, we have levels of of you, you know we when we train you on the journals and your your level of experience and consistency. I mean, these things were very, very fast movers, uh, but that's okay. Believe me, if you, if you were not able to do it, believe me, you'll get there eventually. That's what it's all about. A couple other ones that we did pretty well on also that did uh, did well, LB. I mean, that one, hands down, was a joke. That was the most easiest short I think we I've traded in uh, in months. I mean, L, I mean, it was just like, it just went down so easy. I mean, let me just bring up the one ticket chart. Look at that. It just went down from three o'clock. It was a great short. And I said, I, I, I wanted to keep an eye on it this morning uh, and follow through on the short. But uh, but look at the thing went from 32.75 all the way down to 32.34. That was an easy 40 cent profit right there. Easy, easy. You know, at least you got half of it. But I'm telling you, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a stock trade that easy like LB on a short in a long, long time. And then a lot of people made a lot of money and cleaned up on it. Ken, I think you made, you you killed it, right? You made a bunch of 25, 30 cents. And not only that, you could have traded a few thousand shares of that stock without even sweating uh, a shake, which is you know, which you know is like the hardest things to learn. And then the AZEA, a bunch of students did pretty well on this one. Let me fix the time frame so you can see this one. Uh, that one was a little bit all over the place. A lot of people did pretty well. Nancy, Doug, Paul, John, all made about 20 or so on that. So let's give all those guys a round of applause making money on on Thursday. All right? <laughs> I can't say it was so easy. I'll tell you, I, 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 I don't, very rarely I ever say it. I rarely ever say it. But that was pretty damn easy on the LB, uh, LB trade yesterday. Now, guys, like I said yesterday, it you know, uh, in the morning meeting going in today, that's the archives. Those days are over. Forget it. Let's not dread over what happened. Every morning is a new day of trading here at the Cyber Group Room. So we're going to have a whole new list of stocks. And not only that, for some of you watch this on YouTube, whatever, listen, we have some good stocks that are moving this morning, but it is Friday. Not the greatest, but there's always new ones that open up, you know, that come out of nowhere, you know. So let's talk about those that are moving up pretty well. So let me just fix my time slot right here. On my chart okay a couple of stocks that you guys already trade in pre-market the pixy that one is moving up pretty nicely uh it backed off we were here around eight o'clock this morning you can see it did a little shake uh, before eight o'clock build a nice little support there at 340 so that one looks pretty nice some of you guys are already in it i like it stock looks really nice um going into the open already 38 percent up almost 700,000 shares as of right now so that one's doing pretty well B I O C made the watch list, the Fausto watch list, 
uh, almost a quarter million shares. Stock was a $35 stock last year. Stock got decimated. Uh, got a nice little Fausto flag right there. Got a couple of shakes here. Spreads a little big. Uh, only thing I also don't like about it, look on the matrix on the right. Not really that many orders out there. I actually did a really big event yesterday with TradeStation, and I went to great detail. I know a lot of you guys were there. Um, hopefully, you everyone enjoyed it, but um, that matrix platform right there, hands down, is one of the most important tools to kind of give you a sense of direction with the high frequency. But, you know, that the BIOC is going to be second protocol. GLMD. Here's one. Um, went from gapped up from eight all the way to 26 now it came back down to 10 she's gapping up a little bit nicely right here spread looks okay you got a couple of orders out there in pre-market 200,000 shares it's a lot 12 percent. it's not a huge which is great i like that that was doing pretty well and um you know there's a lot of if you go back to my youtube channel um remember i was talking about blue apron guys i was saying listen you know um president trump uh, wants to restructure and I don't know, this is just, oh, this is all, you know, um, this is all, uh, uh, you know, speculation. But apparently what's, uh, what uh, President Trump's looking to do is, uh, is um, take away food stamps and he wants to send people food in the mail and, um, and, and, you know, sending them a box. And that's what Blue Apron does. And I remember I said, and I said, you know what, Blue Apron's making a really nice move. I mean, this, this rumor, this news came out regarding about the uh, the shipping of food stamps of food instead of giving people a card to go to the store and buy it uh, might cause Blue Apron. They might have something to do. And sure enough, you can see Blue Apron on that swing trade. If you go back, you can see it how it went from two dollars over to four. A nice little hundred percent mover. It's not the greatest swing a uh, day trade, but it, it was a pretty really good swing trade. So that one's been doing pretty well for us. So you can go back and review. You know, one of the recordings I did. Go back uh, back in the beginning of April. And you could basically see it. it was on the watch list on uh, on our YouTube channel channel. So if you want to kind of review it, uh, so that one's doing pretty well. And then I want to put Ferrari up there. Ferrari is not really a good uh, day trade, but it's been a really good swing trade for us. The stock made a really big comeback. Uh, it dropped all the way down to a buck thirty two, and it's already at a buck forty two. Uh, excuse me, buck forty three. Stock's doing really really well. Uh, that is one of our swing trades. So a lot of us own Ferrari. This is actually not a really good chart, but a lot of us own Ferrari at a, um, you bring up the weekly chart. Uh, a lot of us own it here around 60 and we wrote it up to about 110. I ended up buying it back. You know, stock came back down. So I own it right around 105. It went to one, it went to back to 100. But a lot of it's doing pretty well. This is more of a swing trade. Ferrari's doing really, really well. Um, once again, if you can't afford the car, you can at least afford the stock. Well, I don't even know if you can afford the stock anymore. <laughs> it was nice when it was down to 40 bucks. But this was basically our, our greatest trade uh, out of all of them. Once that company went public, I knew it was going to do well. So um, it's coming back on our swing trade. So remember, guys, we just don't day trade. We also swing trade here. So there have been a couple of good swing trades that have been working out. And then obviously the IQ has always been a favorite. Oops. The IQ is doing really well on our swing trade and our day trade. All right, guys, anything I'm missing I did not call out? Any uh, any any other stocks? Okay, Mark is saying, what about the ADXS? You know, I saw that, you know, and I didn't put it on a list because it tanked. Look what happened. It, it gapped up huge. It went all the way to a price right around almost like $3. And look, it dropped down to a $1.60. And I said, you know what? I don't want to throw this on the list. It's not really... You know, everyone's looking at it. It's up 32%, but million shares. But st listen, you know what? It's starting to build a little bit of a base right here at 162, but it came down a lot. So that kind of really turned me off. Uh, GLMD from Ken. Nice little push, Ken. Yeah, and the 14%, 200,000 shares. That one definitely uh, was good. And guess what, Ken? If you're listening, it was on my list already. All right? <laughs> Benito's already up 30 cents. All right, let's give him a round of applause. There you go, Ben. All right, Nancy's got a couple of couple other ones. Uh, you know what? I saw GoGo, Wayne, and uh, I didn't know they were still in business. I mean, now you're getting free Wi-Fi on the phone, but uh, on your on the plane. But I don't know. I mean, it's up a little bit. It took a big hit. You could put it on the watch list. I don't know what's up with it, but you know, I trade GoGo a few times, and you know, I didn't like trading it too much. All right. 
Uh, Nancy Fox says, what about the NFJN? Uh, that one, it's gapped up. It's been up really nicely, but the volume is only 600 shares. So that was the only thing that turned me off about it. So I would pass on that. All right. All right, guys. All right, so that's what we got going on for this morning. And remember, everybody, there's going to be a, a, only about two of these might make nice make moves. And then we always have a new list that will open up. So just keep your eyes and ears open. See something, say something, traders. And like I said, if I don't see you going to this afternoon, enjoy your weekend. This is what it's all about. Make your days pay and go enjoy it. You know, that's why we do what we're doing here in the Cyber Group Room, all right? So enjoy. If I don't see you, enjoy your weekend. In the meantime, everyone, let's work together like a team. And hopefully all the new members here, um, trial members that have been part of CTU, been enjoying it. Watch all the videos. Talk to your education advisors. Uh, hopefully they told you if it's for you or not. And uh, any, any, and hopefully I look forward to talking to some of you here. I know we got to have a couple appointments with some of you guys uh, to kind of let you know, if, uh, see what's the story, if you're going to move forward with us. So let's see how things work out. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.